All right, welcome to round two, me v. John Mark. I'm on the play with a six card hand, and he kept seven, surprise, surprise. Three pool, go ahead. I'm gonna play planes. Sorry about smacking my cards, guys. Wow. I know I got some feedback there. Wow. Marty Will Reaper. I don't know what that one does. It's a two one. Um, when it comes into play, I can exile a creature from graveyard, gain a life. Okay. Otherwise, just two one. Gotcha. Play a glacial fortress. <laughs> play a search for a skin tone. Yeah. Oh, pass. I'm going to play a land. I'm going to play a Dauntless Bodyguard targeting Marty Will Reaper. Okay. And another Dauntless Bodyguard targeting Marty Will Reaper. Okay. And then swing two. 18. Go ahead. Alright, search trigger. Um, leave that there. Draw. <laughs> we will save you. Place thinks is too much. That's when we draw a card, I'm mill two? Yep. Okay. Uh, pass. I'm gonna play. No. I'm gonna play a Night Away Orchid first. Grab a planes. I'm going to play a planes. Yep. Play a bonus elite. Okie dokie. And swing for six. Or twelve. Go ahead. I'll tap one. Search trigger. Oh, is that the thing that makes it tough? Um, it does. Nice. I'll tap another one to play another back technical core. Nice. And. I'll leave that there. Uh, draw. Okay. So two more trigger. Two. Play the length of the turn. Mm -hmm. Play another two. Sure. Pass. I almost thought I would remove my dice for some reason. And you're going to draw. Gunlash Marshal? Yep. Uh, swing Team? Okay. Fog? Yep. Yep. Fog. I have to exile um, other artifact creatures or vehicles. Second main? Yep. Unbenalish Marshal? Okay. Go ahead. Uh, search trigger. Bin that. Uh, draw two things of Sulu triggers. One. Two. So repeat. Okay, and then second trigger. We are going to say pass. <laughs> Another fog? I don't know. Are you tagging with everything? Yeah, I am. Okay. Defend the hearth. What does that do? We're going to knock on damage with the couple players this turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, go ahead. All right. Search trigger. Bin that. Uh, drop. Woo. And second trigger. Repeat. Woo. Um, can't do anything with that, so pass. You got 50 more fogs, Garrison? Um, no, 49. I would say put a sleeve. Wish I would quit drawing my lands. No, you can leave. <laughs> I like you drawing <laughs> lands. It feels good. I only got 18, <laughs> man. <laughs> feels good, yeah. Just in case you shuffle it, then it's yeah. not an on sleeve card. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. just to know, like, yeah. the, the new purpose. This is the only checklist in the, the deck. Yeah. So I'm going to yeah. attempt to kill you again. I'm going to attempt to fog again. Okay. okay. I don't have any counter spells for that, so. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Okay, search trigger. Spin that. Draw two tutelage triggers. Mm. Oh, here we go. I repeat. Okay, the second one. trigger. Yeah. Consider. Okay. Can you draw a card after that? Yeah. Um. 
Bend the there. verdict. Dropper? <laughs> Two triggers. <laughs> but it was extra. Yeah. No more damage. All right. <coughs> Play Hinton and Herbers are for turn. Pass. How many fogs have you got in here, Garrison? Enough. I guess. I hope. You got 12? Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Like, gotta leave back blockers? Is that what it is? I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave back two blockers. There you go, man. How much damage is that? Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So if we get rid of the Benelage Marshal. One. It's 11, right? So maybe 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. 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 Cool, we'll go to the next game. Make you think about that one. I was like, what do you mean get rid of it? <laughs> Tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky. Now that I was super pumped to be able to play 18 lands with uh, my Night of the White Orchids, you know, until yeah. uh, Sphinx is too yeah. yeah, I like you pulling one out. It's great. Yeah. It's no good. I don't even know what I have against you. No anti-fog, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, you got Supreme Verdict, I'm sure. The rest of that doesn't matter. I think I'll just... I will be on the play. It's not fair. You got to be on the play last time. Yeah, but I didn't win, so. Because you didn't bring the Pokemon. That's probably right. I probably have them. They're probably in the bag. So you learned about Lotus Field combo? You learned about it? Yep. Yep. Pretty, pretty fancy. Yeah, I have it built. Some cards out of here that came out of that deck, but it's a, it's a pretty spicy combo. So you got like 12 fog main board, is that what the... Enough. You got five and then you put well, the other three in, is that what you do? Enough. Yeah, okay. Apparently not enough because I lost game one. You know. Nope. <laughs> also nope. Nope, did that wrong. <laughs> Backwards. Yeah. So what made you go from like collective company to what you're playing? Uh, Matt found this deck oh. online. <laughs> it's literally. It. He was oh, like, oh, "Dude, you gotta play this." <laughs> and then I changed. Uh, probably about seven cards <laughs> off the list that he found. So, I don't know. I might still play Collective Company. 
I just didn't want to play it. The problem was I didn't want to really play aggro. That's really what it came down to. And it had been advanced spirits, so. But I'm not playing the event, so it didn't really matter like what I played here. Just have some fun. Try to steal some wins. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um... I can't play an extra spell. You can. So, if a land tap from two or more mana, it produces colors instead. Another type of amount. Each spell a player casts costs one more to cast for each other spell a player casts. Sounds good. Go We're going to play uh, Death and Taxes, the mirror. So, I'm going to go ahead and play Thalia. Yep. And then you for two. Go ahead. I thought about making Death and Taxes. Go we'll set you. I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> I knew the meta more, I would. Um, interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just maximize mana value, I guess. We'll go here. Sure. Go here. Sure. Swing five. Yep, 13. Go ahead. End of your turn. Okay. Rose spiral? Yeah. Draw a card, play land. Draw a card, that's what it said. Take my turn. Draw a turn. Wow. You're gonna do that to me, huh? Pass. Draw. Um, play another one. Mm hmm. Before combat, I'll go here and here. And then swing two other right, yeah. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah. Okay. The five. And this will flip. Magic trick failed. So here's Satan. So this is his uh, plus one plus one for me. Yep. And then will do his ability too, right? Twin dark and all next turn. Your next turn, target creature and start to untap that creature. I'm gonna untap this one. Can I do that on my second main? I so, believe so, yeah. Okay. You can ask. Hey, Matt. So, when Kithian flips to Gideon, on my second main, I can use his Planeswalker ability, right? Huh? So, you play the flip. So, yeah, I played Gideon. Okay. He turned during combat, after combat. Pretty sure that's what it says. Yeah, so. At end of combat, if I exile him, oh, return you, you to the battlefield exile, transformed. Yeah, yeah. So then I can just play his plus one, yeah. right? You, so you do exile him, so he's untapped. If oh, he loses the counter too. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, because he's in transforming doesn't exile. No, it's, 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 I think it's it's set like, exile. Yeah. Oh, it does it say exile? exile? Come back. So he loses the plus one plus one counter. Yeah. Exile. Okay. At the end, then yeah. return to the battlefield. Yeah. So yeah, you lose it then. See, so yeah, I'm gonna untap this, and make it indestructible until next turn. Okay. Uh, go ahead. And your turn, Gross Spiral. Yeah, good luck, man. We need it. We deserve to be each other, though. Take my turn. Draw. That is not what I want. Spar's headquarters. Pass. Land! That's the loop. Um, yeah, so this is all my mana floating, and I'm just going to generate it again. And then eventually, when I have a billion mana, well, I'll cast one of my tutors to go and get four, four, five, 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 just two, three. Do you got four? I don't know. Yeah. Um,
No, before beginning combat, I'm going to. Oh, sure. As soon as you're done, you're done, right? Well, it's like when you get the right card, you just go bananas. I'm going to plus one of them in Target Thalia again. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the beginning combat. And I'll go here. Nope. And then it's like stalling or whatever. And I'll go to the swing. It's all the same. Yeah. If I keep doing the same actions, it changes like libraries and stuff. It's not stalling type of things. I'm looking through my deck, but if I was doing like the same board state, like just swap cards, that's still. Yeah. Essentially, I could just break the initial fortress. Dropping a card. Would you do my face now? Can you grab it? It's more towards you, sorry. It don't matter if you see it. I did not. And about uh, Verdict. Yeah. And that's destroy, right? Yep. So everything but Thalia? Yep. This deck's pretty long. Is there any way to like stop that? Cool. Like, the counter Pass. Or yeah, absolutely. If you like counter attack, it's like a very simple attack. I see. Draw. Um, <laughs> do a deserted beach untapped? Is that blue white? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I telegraphed that a little bit too, <laughs> too well there. I realized that after I tapped, I was like, oh. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna play my Luminarch Aspirant first. Sure. Um, and then I'm going to make him a creature. Yep. And then I will put one on him, I guess. Sure. And then swing for five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. Good games. Yeah, it was. I thought you know.